Welcome back to Tain Slayer Info. We came to know that Myanmar has grounded their JF-17 fighter fleet due to technical problems and structural crackings. And this has concerned both China and Pakistan since it would affect the export business of these fighters a lot. I have already uploaded a couple of videos highlighting the various problems which has been faced by these JF-17 fighters of Pakistan and China and this video will provide specific issues which is relevant to the engines which power these fighters. JF-17 fighters are powered using the Russian Klimov RD-93 afterburning turbofan engine and according to the recent updates, we came to know that these engines have developed cracks in the guide vanes, the exhaust nozzles and flame stabilizers. In order to ensure the JF-17 remains operational and also to make sure sufficient spare parts are available for the proper maintenance of the JF-17 fighter fleet, Pakistan has to reach out to Russia directly or via China. Due to the ongoing war between Ukraine and Russia, dealing with Russia for any sort of business has become a bit difficult and every country has started thinking twice before reaching out to Russia for any sort of help or products. Using this opportunity, Pakistan's close friend China has started offering their WS-13 medium thrust engine for the JF-17 fighters. This engine is actually a copy or it has been derived from the Russian RD-93 engine. The WS-13, which is also known as Taishan, is a turbofan engine designed and manufactured in order to power the Pakistan-China jointly developed JF-17 Thunder lightweight multi-role fighter and in the near future the Shenyang J-31 5th generation stealth fighter currently under development. According to my personal opinion, Pakistan can very well go ahead with the offering which has come from China since both China and Pakistan had been more close than Russia and Pakistan with regards to defense ties. So getting the engines from China would be more beneficial for Pakistan in order to maintain the JF-17 fighter fleet. Again, this is my personal opinion and it might differ from the opinion which you might be having. Already the JF-17 has been grounded by Myanmar and not sure when Nigeria would be grounding these fighters since I am sure even these fighters which is being operated by Nigeria would face similar engine and structural related problems in future. So let's wait and see if Pakistan decides to switch the engines of the JF-17 from Russian one to the Chinese one. I will be uploading another video once I get more updates on the same. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tainslade Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.